Hello, everyone. Uh, we are um, a little bit behind the schedule, so I'm not going to take too much of your time because uh, we have a very special guest today. It's Ms. Julie Serowitz, <laughs> Member of the Parliament for Devon Davenport. Uh, good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Uh, buenos dias. I'm very happy to be here at the LATAM Startups Conference this morning. And I would like to start off by acknowledging that uh, we are all here today on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. And it's now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples, we also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 uh, with the Mississaugas of the Credit. I'm really pleased to be here uh, this morning. I was supposed to be here an hour ago, but my flight from Ottawa was delayed. Uh, it's the uh, tragic short uh, staff, uh, that situation that we're seeing at many of the airports right across this country. Uh, but I'm very pleased to be here on behalf of my colleague, Helena Jasik, who is the minister responsible of for the Federal Economic Development Agency uh, for Southern Ontario, or it's uh, more commonly known as FedDev Ontario. Today's conference brings together the business community to share insightful presentations from fellow entrepreneurs and unicorns detailing their journeys in the startup world. I wanna thank Jen and Miriam and the whole team at LADAM Startups for welcoming me today. As we know, Southern Ontario has a rich and diverse population and a dynamic economy filled with talent and possibility. Comme nous le savons, le sud de l'Ontario a une population riche et diversifiée, a une économie dynamique remplie de talents et des possibilités. Making investments that support innovation and technology with a focus on inclusivity will not only create good jobs and boost our economy, but it will provide underrepresented Canadians with opportunities to grow and thrive. That is why the Government of Canada continues to make targeted investments to ensure that startups have the access to the tools and resources they need to succeed, while enabling fair and equal opportunity for all. Which brings me to why I'm here today. Ce qui m'amène à la raison pour laquelle je suis ici aujourd'hui. LATAM has, a, has an impressive mandate to target global entrepreneurs and help them establish their business in Canada. Within the last two years, LATAM has helped more than 100 startups locate and grow here in Southern Ontario. As you all know, LATAM provides mentoring and advisory services that focuses on integrating companies into Canadian society. They bring people together, form connections, and lift up talented entrepreneurs just like at this annual conference we are enjoying today. And I'll also say to you, um, as someone, my last name is Ukrainian, so I'm half Ukrainian, but I'm also a Mexican-Canadian. So my mother's name is Maria Amparo Lizarraga Zataran. So I am of two cultures, so I always say I'm half Mexican, half Ukrainian, and 100% Canadian. Uh, but for me, part of what's really special about uh, today is the fact that um, uh, not only does LADAM, LADAM it helps to take advantage what I think is of um, a lot of opportunity between Canada and Latin America. And I know they've expanded beyond Latin America now, which is really great, but I think that there's a lot of uh, underdeveloped uh, opportunities between uh, both Canada and Latin America. So I was really happy to, to hear about the work that LADAM does and will continue to do. And today, I'm particularly pleased to announce, to make a special announcement. Um, I'm pleased to announce a Government of Canada investment through FedDev Ontario of over $3 million for LADAM startups under the Jobs and Growth Fund to scale a business support network to help international startups in the technology sector to incorporate, do business, and create jobs while establishing their businesses in Southern Ontario. So congratulations. <laughs> LATAM is working in partnership with three regional economic development organizations, Tech Place, Hull Tech, and Innovation Factory, to deliver startup programs. This program is designed to provide eligible international entrepreneurs in key sectors, 
such as manufacturing, clean tech, and health and life sciences, access to business advisory services, network opportunities, culture coaching, GBA plus training, and local market insight to help them locate and grow in Southern Ontario. This project will support 100 new international businesses and create 180 jobs. New businesses participating in the program will create new job opportunities for Canadians and add to local supply chains. Another important part of this project is the commitment to promote the talent of women, youth, racialized individuals, uh, and uh, Indigenous peoples. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, for me, it's particularly important because we're also taking advantage of what I consider is underdeveloped uh, opportunities between Canada and Latin America. And I'm really very proud of the Latin American and Hispanic leadership that's within LATAM, uh, within the LATAM uh, startup group. LATAM and partners will connect entrepreneurs with local talent through partnerships with local community groups. As the businesses prepare to staff in the region, they will have access to a pipeline of qualified candidates. They'll also be using custom-built screening tools during the assessment process, and the program is open for applications until June 25th, with additional cohorts launching in the future. More information can be found on the LATAM website. So huge congratulations uh, to Miriam and the team of LATAM and partners. Felicitations à Miriam et à l'équipe et aux partenaires de LATAM. I look forward to seeing the innovative businesses and technologies and new partnerships that are sure to take place as part of this program. Thank you, merci, muchísimas gracias. I'd like to thank uh, the member of the parliament for giving us this great news. And um, I just want to say, uh, you know, how, how difficult it is to open a company in Canada. Is that the, the frequent question I get from international startups? The fact is that opening a company is not that difficult. Even in my home country, it's not. In compared with other countries, certainly Canada has an easy system to open a company. But the point is not just how to open it. The question is how difficult it is to grow a company in Canada or elsewhere. That's the hard part. Even more difficult is to grow the same company in another country. This expansion process takes co-founders not just time and money, but a lot of other sacrifices that touch their personal lives too. I've seen, I've seen it in daily basis, deciding which country to expand, taking this particular decision is not easy either. Many people ask me, why Canada? I love what Canada has built over the years, not just for a very strong startup ecosystem, but a very friendly startup ecosystem. When startups arrive in this country, we need lots of help but we also need a lot of empathy. Canadians are always, um, they always come with their famous phrase, how we can help. Those are the words uh, that, you know, we want to hear when you, especially when you are an entrepreneur, when you are growing a company, when you are in trouble, uh, you, don't, you don't know what to do and where to start. Canada competes every day with many other countries to attract talent, and when I first started Latam Startups and I hear about the Startup Visa program, it was my personal goal to be a part of this program. Because I'm a newcomer, I know the struggle uh, to grow a company in a different country. I understand the significance for our community. In 2019, we became designated company for the Startup Visa program. But even before the designation, I was lucky enough, lucky enough to work with amazing startups, companies, entrepreneurs that inspire me every single day. Those entrepreneurs are here today. Those entrepreneurs that are the ones that, have, that will be impacted by this new huge milestone for our, company, for our community. Thanks to FEDE, for those, uh, those entrepreneurs will have access to more support so they can feel less growing pains 
in their long journey of growing a company. This is the way from Canada to say to all of you, I believe in you, I believe in your company. I like to ask those founders that are part of our community, start a visa program, newcomer program, and corporate program to please stand up. Stand up, guys. Thank you. Returning to my first point, Canadians are always willing to help. Ms. Julie, uh, Sarah Wicks, you have brought us amazing news today, but we need your help again. We need somebody in the government to advocate for these entrepreneurs and help them to speed up their work permits and permanent residence. The growth of the company depends on that. And we know the impact of the pandemic in the immigration system has caused a lot of delays. But these companies that are growing cannot do much when they cannot open bank accounts, when the work permit takes six months to arrive, when they are separated from their families because their visas issues, when they can access to funding because they don't have permanent status. It's not the case for all of them, but many of them experience different challenges. Besides all these challenges I'm mentioning, they, they are here, they are hiring locals, they are bringing their new tech and, uh, to this market, and they are paying taxes. So they are making it anyway, you know? Uh, we need the Minister Fraser to take these companies as priority. I'm aware of the challenges of the startup visa program. No company in our communities in ideation. They all have solid product. They are growing well. We need your help for the immigration system too have peace of mind of the legal status. In the meantime, we are going to keep growing with these companies. We are committed to bring more uh, startups this year and next year, 2021, we brought 20, 60, 63 companies a part of our programs. We hope to increase the number uh, going forward. And I'm really thrilled to be partnering with our partners of TechPlace, HealthTech Innovation Hamilton in this new project. My final words are for our mentors, volunteers, board of directors and staff members. This beautiful combination of a good work between Canadians and newcomers is what makes LATAM Startups a truly diverse and inclusive community. Thank you so much. I think we have a photo up here and then we go for the mayor's words. Okay.